On FEC.gov, they discovered startling donation patterns from supposedly unemployed individuals. Now, let's take a look at some of these numbers. Four unemployed individuals donating a staggering $197,993.68 across, you ready for this? 23,416 separate donations. That's an average of 10 donations per day, every day, since January 1st, 2023. Does this sound like genuine grassroots support to you? So let's break it down, these suspicious donations. First, we have Carolyn from New Jersey, living in an apartment and listed as unemployed. She somehow managed to donate 53000 over $53,000 through 598, I'm sorry, 5,998 separate donations since January 1st of 23. The bulk of the donations, 36,000, went directly to Act Blue across over 4,600 transactions. But it doesn't stop there. She also made donations to various Democrat campaigns and PACs, including Bob Casey for Senate, Jeffries for Congress, and Nancy Pelosi for Congress. So how does an unemployed person living in an apartment have this kind of money to throw around? Hmm. Next we have Sandra from California. Also unemployed and living in an average house. She donated $30,000 or just over $30,000. Ready for this? Across 66,000, almost 6,800 donations. Again, the majority went to Act Blue. Just over $19,000 over 4,870 donations. She also contributed to Rosen for Nevada, HMP, and even Harris for President. That's right, folks. Direct donations to Harris campaign from an unemployed individual. And then there is Thomas from Wisconsin. His listed address is just a plot of land, yet this unemployed donor managed to give, you ready for this? Just shy of $70,000 through 2,600 donations. A whopping 34, almost 35,000 went to Act Blue in 1,600 separate transactions. He also donated to the Progressive Turnout Project, Retired Americans PAC, and once again, Harris for President. And then we also have here, this is Amy. Meet Amy from Oregon, another unemployed donor who somehow scraped together $42,000 for about 8,000 donations that Act Blue received. Okay? Now they received 29,000 from her across 5,500 transactions. She donated to AmeriPAC, Moms Fed Up, Elect Democratic Women. Now my friends, these patterns are not just suspicious, they are downright alarming. So how are unemployed individuals making thousands of small donations totaling tens of thousands of dollars? And why are they spreading these donations across multiple Democrat campaigns and PACs? But it gets worse. Tony Ceruta, another investigator, he found over 400,000 new Act Blue accounts created in just 30 days. Now take a look at some of the emails that were sent by the Harris campaign. They're practically begging for $1, $2, $3 donations, but there's a twist that reveals just how deep the rabbit hole goes. You ready? In this email, you can see right here, they're pushing hard for a measly $3 donation. They claim it could guarantee Joe and Kamala are reelected and prevent Donald Trump from becoming president again. Yeah. Well, here's another one. This time, they are down to asking for just a dollar, one dollar. They're using scare tactics, mentioning Trump's far-right billionaire donors and a supposed $50 million donation to Trump's super PAC. It's clear fear-mongering 101. But this last email is where things get really interesting. If you notice the name at the top, <laughs> FJB. Now you might think that's just a random set of initials, but here's the kicker. The investigators deliberately seeded these initials <laughs> into Act Blue's database. That's right, America. Tony Saruga and his team inserted tens of thousands of fake donors into Act Blue lists to track their activities, and lo and behold, here's one of the fake names showing up in an official email. This proves beyond a shadow of doubt that the Harris campaign is using these Act Blue lists for their fundraising efforts. They're sending personalized emails to names that